Hello boys and girls, for the day for our literacy task today, we're going to create a story map and then label it with some captions. Okay, so I've drawn my story map for Superworm and I need your help to label it now. Okay, so do you think you can help me today to label it with the captions? Okay, right, so at the beginning of the story, it started off with Superworm, didn't it? So we can label it with Superworm is strong. And then Superworm saves Toad on the road, doesn't he? So we'll label it there. And we saved it with a lasso, so we better label the lasso here so we'll remember lasso. And then if we follow the arrows down, it shows us which direction to go in, doesn't it? So then Superworm, he cheers the bees up. And then we'll label this and we remember he turned into a skipping rope, didn't he? So I'll label it with skipping rope. And then if we follow the arrow in this way, what did he do next? That's right. He says beetle, didn't he, from the well? So we can write says beetle. from well these are just little captions to remind us of what happened in the story okay and then he saved him with a fishing line didn't he super one turned into the fishing line so we can label it fishing line And then what happened next in the story? Follow the arrow down. It was the crow, wasn't it? The crow got superworm. So we can label it with that. Crow got superworm. And then what happened next? Let's follow the arrow. Who was this character that appeared in the story? Can you remember? That's right, it was a lizard, wasn't it? And what did the lizard do? He was a wizard, wasn't he? And he cast a magic spell, didn't he? So lizard... Cast... a magic spell. And then that magic spell made Superworm look for treasure, didn't he? He had to go underground into the soil to look for all the treasure for the wizard. So he looks for treasure. And then all of the superworm's friends, the toads and the bees and the spiders, they all made a web, didn't they? They made a special web to catch the lizard. 
Okay, so they catch the lizard in a web. And then, where did they dump the lizard? That's right, they put him in the rubbish dump, didn't they? Right, put lizard. In. The rubbish dump. And then after he'd gone into the rubbish dump, who came back? That's right, it was Superworm, wasn't it? So Superworm was back again. And then at the end of the story, what did they all do? That's right, they all clapped, didn't they? And they all chanted because they were so excited to see Superworm back. They were so joyful and happy, weren't they, to see him back. So they all clap and chant. That was the end of the story, wasn't it? So if we go back to the beginning of the story, right up here, and we'll check our little captions, we'll read them back, okay? So at the beginning of the story, we've got Superworm, haven't we? And Superworm is strong. So these are just little captions to remind us so that when we write the story tomorrow, we can use these to help us to write some sentences and to sequence them in the right order. So the order that happens in the story. So we've got Superworm is strong. Then he goes and saves Toad on the road. The superworm turned into a lasso, didn't he? And then he cheers the bees up and superworm turned into a skippy rope, didn't he, to cheer the bees up? And then where does superworm go next? What does he do? That's right, he saves Beetle from the well, doesn't he? And he did that by turning into a fishing line. And then what happened next? That's right, the crow got superworm, didn't he? And then the lizard cast a magic spell, which made superworm go and look for treasure. And then all of superworm's friends, they made a web to catch the lizard in the web, didn't they? And then they all put the lizard in the rubbish dump. And then Superworm comes back and at the very end of the story they all clap and chant because they're so excited to see Superworm back and safe again, don't they? Okay, so do you think you'll be able to have a go at drawing your own story map now today and have a go at labelling it with some words or captions just to remind you about what happens in the story and then tomorrow we can use our story maps to help us to write a story, can't we, in the correct order, from the beginning into the middle and then the end. Okay, I really look forward to seeing all your story maps today. Okay, see you later. Bye.